Hey guys, Brad Moreland with Dallas Fire and EMS. Today we're gonna go over the front double donut load um, and that'll cover how to roll the hose and how to load the hose in the bumper. So after firefighting operations have ended and your hose is clean, you'll want to single roll it. That way you ensure all the air and water has exited the hose. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna double over your hose. Um, and if you're standing at the bite looking down the hose, you're gonna wanna ensure that your female coupling is on the right hand side. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do is form your bite. So how you'll form your bite is you're going to grab both ends of the roll and you're going to push your palms up and your thumbs down and it'll form a triangle on that bite to roll the hose. After you've formed your bite, uh, you're going to want to roll your hose. It's easier to do with a second firefighter. They can use their feet or their hands to keep that uh, hose tightly together. So you're just going to roll it end over end. Again, making sure that you keep that hose tightly together. Okay, so at this point you should have a female coupling on the right hand side and a male coupling on the left hand side. And then when this gets flipped over and ready to put in the hose bed, it'll be switched opposite. So your female will be on the left side and your male will be on the right. Okay guys, so you're gonna wanna ensure that the Higby indicators are aligned on your male and female coupling when you're connecting two pieces of hose together. Um, you can check inside to verify that the gasket is in proper working order and then also ensure that your threads look good. Um, and when you align those Higby indicators, that will help create a, a tight seal between the two sections of hose. Okay guys, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to put the two sections of hose into the hose bed and hook up the sections. Um, so on the right hand side hose, you're going to want to make sure that this female is extended out about a foot or so, um, just so it makes a hook the connection to your Y here. And when you do that, your couplings are going to face out from the engine. You place your hose sections in there and if you need a little bit more you can kind of just pull on it and it'll it'll give you your slack that you need next you'll put your nozzle section in so this goes on the left side of the compartment and you're going to want to hook your male and female coupling together And the last thing you're gonna do is add your nozzle to the male on the left-hand side. And then of course, always secure your hose after you have put it in the bed. All right, so the last thing we're gonna go over is the uh, cancer bucket or the decontamination bucket that we have relocated out of the top where it was inaccessible and just easily forgotten about because uh, so first thing we're going to do, um, if you notice here, we have what should be in that, but we'll go over that. 
So you have one brush to use with your pump sprayer full of Dawn dish soap. Spray on, scrub, hose off. We do have more Dawn dish soap in case you do run out. Feel free to mix it. If you're like me, it's like a one to one ratio. Um, you have bags to put gear in that you've washed, but is not fully decontaminated until they go through the um, extractor back at the station. We have one short section of forestry line with a nozzle. So this is just to make uh, decontamination a little easier. Um, we do have another short piece in case you want to get away from the engine and not make a mess close to your engine. And that um, should be plugged in on the pump panel. Um, because this, uh, when the system's flowing foam, you will get foam out of it. We don't want to waste foam on decontamination. So if you go to the pump panel, um, just you know, on the left side, right there underneath the cab, that's water only. So if we can hook into that, that'd be great. We also have gloves. Um, this is one size fits some. Um, if you need a smaller pair or a bigger pair, we also have the gloves inside each apparatus. And to make yourself feel fresh by the end, we also have baby wipes. So remember to wipe areas, so like your hands, your neck, stuff where you have looser clothing, so like your gloves and your hood that the smoke permeates through. Um, this is not an end all be all. Please shower when you're done. So to make it easier for everybody, we decided that at the same time that we were gonna change into one of one's front bumper load, we were gonna change the ladder so they're both identical. So we don't have you know 10 different loads to Sunday on each apparatus. Um, standardization. Um, the only little tweak um, is going to be how it's loaded. Um, instead of having our discharge on the bumper, our discharge is actually in the box. As I mentioned before, uh, rolled exactly the same way as the engine, um, stored exactly the same way. The only difference is, is you're gonna have a space in between your rolls because of where you plumb into it at. Um, the plumb or the line coming in swivels. Make sure when you're hooking it up at the end, when you're all done restoring, that it's sticking straight up. And then at that point, you make your connections and make your hose look pretty so it's ready for the next person to pull. So, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, rolled exactly the same way as the engine, um, stored exactly the same way. The only difference is, is you're gonna have a space in between your rolls because of where you plumb into it at. Um, the plumb or the line coming in swivels. Make sure when you're hooking it up at the end, when you're all done restoring, that it's sticking straight up. And then at that point, you make your connections and make your hose look pretty so it's ready for the next person to pull.